हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सीरीज दिस न्यू सीरीज विल एक्सप्लोर फीचर बाय फीचर कंपैरिजन बिटवीन टैब्लू एंड पावर बीआई सो इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू कैन गेट नोटिफिकेशन फॉर द न्यू वीडियोस सो दिस वीडियो लेट्स बिगिन हाउ डू वी गेट टैब्लू हाउ डू वी गेट पावर बीआई हाउ टू इंस्टॉल बोथ दीस सॉफ्टवेयर्स व्हाट काइंड ऑफ लाइसेंसेस दे हैव वेरी ब्रीफ लुक एट इट so power power bi what you can do there are two options which we are going to explore so one of the option is very simple go to any search engine and search download uh, power bi desktop and you will get a link for this one and you can go here and from uh, microsoft side you can download the power bi and install it on your system so you can press download and it will actually download the software so it will give you a choice for you know um, set up uh, x64 exe or 32 bit uh, my system is 64 bit so i can download this one uh, but i have already have power bi installed on my system so i'm not downloading you can actually go to the next step and actually uh, it will start downloading okay so it's downloading now so the other option is basically which i feel is a better option in case of power bi open your microsoft stores and search power bi desktop out there and once you search let's say i want to search power bi desktop you will get a power bi you will reach to the power bi desktop and you will get a install icon here first time installation install on my device that's the option and once it is installed you will get the launch option and this is better because in this way if you install power bi uh, power bi will automatically updates but if you are an organization which want to update power bi all of them together only when you want then better option is download and install and uh, uh i have a blog where i have given most of the useful link for power bi you can refer to that i'll also try to put that link out here now in case of tableau again you can search tableau online and then on the tableau uh, website uh basically if you go to the tableau website uh, you have a option to download tableau so let me open tableau website so i'm going to search for tableau okay so you go to tableau desktop and you can say try now in try now give your business email id and say download free trial i have already downloaded it so you have to give your business email id again for power bi also you have to register using your business email id here also you give your business email id tableau desktop is only 14 day trial please remember power bi desktop is free tableau desktop is not okay so that's the first difference other than that there are pricing differences so for power bi uh you can look at the power bi pricing so power bi is pro and premium and there is a premium sku also available which is per user kind of a premium offering uh there are different kind of data limits available you can look at the power bi website for this limit but uh, uh the good thing about power bi is the power bi personal personal edition i or what you call power bi desktop with a free one login you need to have official id for that from uh, your office id only you will be able to register so you can't call it as a personal mode but that is there but in case of tableau you have to do it and then there are various uh, stuff which you can actually buy in case of tableau you can get the licensing details out in the tableau website there is something known as tableau public also you can search for tableau public and download tableau public if you would like but here uh, the step by step comparison which we wanted to do uh, we don't want to do it with is a tableau public because what i think tab power bi desktop which is free is comparable with tableau desktop which we are going to do so if you wanted to use the free version you can go and download the tableau public or you are a student then i think you can get uh, it for a longer period of time so so this is a brief about it visit the websites from microsoft and from tableau to look at into the more details i will provide the links uh, into the description so i have double click uh, on my downloaded file and i checked this box to install it and then you can press the install and i am right now not going to install it uh, because i already have installation done so i'm going to cancel it and i'm going to open both power bi and tableau and going to show you what all is there for you so just once uh, i am able to open it i'll continue this video 
so i have opened that tableau and power bi so tableau is asking me for registration because i, I already have my power bi registered so you can see my name here but let's uh, begin that process i'll tell you the power bi registration process also with your official email id so let's for tableau let me click on start trial now so it's asking me few details let me try those out so i have given all the details and tableau right now is trying to register my account registration is completed so let me continue meanwhile while the tableau desktop is opening i what i have done is i have logged out of my app.powerbi.com i so basically if you go to the sign in link power bi there is a sign in link uh, try for free if you click this will be the link which is opened and now because i have already signed in from my email id so if i give my email id and say sign up it's going to take me to sign in page not with this one so what you can do here is give your official email id and press the sign up and follow the step you have to provide certain information after that it will get registered so here what i am going to do is i'm just going to log in with my email id and once i log in i'll show you so no need to sign up because you are already there got it okay and it is going to take me to my email id and login password and you know i am already inside the power bi app it's fine so let's see what happened in case of tableau so in case of tableau again uh already purchased or i'll say start the trial now so i'm going to say start trial now and it's again asking me the same information which i filled in so let me fill in this information so what i realized that i have to cross that one and if i was filling it was saying your trial has ended but um, uh, i again um, i closed that box and i was able to see this so this is the first look of tableau how does it look like and i can see the options to add the files and everything which i'm going to do here and I'll let me go to the Power BI and Power BI also on the first screen. I can see get data and because I want to start from the first screen, this is optional screen in case of Power BI. I can actually go ahead and do, you know, start directly with that one. So let's start with the same screen. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to do uh, certain things on Power BI and going to replicate that on Tableau. But in certain videos, it is possible that we do something first on Tableau and then try to replicate that in Power BI. So first thing which we are going to do is today is going to get the data and see how can we get it. And today uh, we are going to get it from Excel sheet. So I have an Excel sheet uh, which I am using there and I'll go to my Power BI and in Power BI I have this data. Under the data I have this retail configuration data. So uh, let's see uh, sales data, detail data which let's see which one is smaller. So this is pretty big but let's use the sales data used in videos this is smaller one let's see what all it has for us to offer okay let's wait let power bi load this data so i have four tables out here and i'm going to take all four of them here in power bi so let me check one two three four i'm not going to do modify this is star schema data and i'm not going to do any changes and so it is suggesting some table we might have named it a table but right now let's take it up whatever it is giving so while power bi is loading this data uh, let's wait for a minute while it is loading start showing the rows and then okay so start loading and seems like detecting relationship everything is done so power bi is loaded it and we go and see it has created certain relationship item id item id fit for that city id city id is not fit uh, uh, from the geography to sales is fine but uh, city id and city id between this one i don't need so i'm going to delete that relationship and make the other relationship active here and so i'm done with this and in power bi i can actually double click open this and i say mark this relationship active and you 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 will see this is you know all single directional one to many relationship which has been created all other things are fine so this is my star schema right now seems perfectly detected by power bi let's jump to tableau now in tableau we go to microsoft excel and i'm again going to go back to the data and this is the data we supposed to add let's wait for tableau to detect it tableau is detecting it
okay again same for stuff okay let me drag customer out here let me drag sales out here it's able to create the relationship we have to see the relationship customer id and customer id seems fine relationship between these two okay performance options cardinality should be one too many and let's see and let's again go back and see one to many saved okay then i'm going to drop geography out here ctid ctid that's what it is detecting more and this is sales this is CDID on the sales side and this is this one close we don't want to change performance options this I want to make as one I'm going to do it let me see fine okay and then let me drag item out here now I don't want this relationship this relationship is wrong so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag back it here and from here i'm going to take and this time let me do it like this and let it open item id item id the field seems correct and sales is many and item is one okay and let's see so seems like this is the structure which we want and i'm going to save this in tableau and so tableau is going to save but we have this folder power bi where we are saving all our stuff power bi tableau tableau book one save similarly we'll go to power bi also save it and in the same we have tableau versus power bi we will say power bi one so we saved our content and what we are going to do is simply let's try to bring one visual on both of them and then we'll see so in power bi the way is you drag something from the table or something from dimension and table so i would like to create a bar visual so i can actually go ahead and click on a bar visual i'm going to make it as a full bar visual i'll tell you why and from customer is a bigger dimension item we have a category which is very less value so i'm going to drag a, a category it's not going to show anything because there's no value but what i'm going to do is here i have this quantity column which is i'm going to can drag here or i can drag it into the values and if i drag into the values you will see by default it has taken the sum okay so the first visual has been created in power bi we have taken the help of visualization now we are going to go ahead and try this out in tableau let's save it so while it it has saved it and now in tableau we'll go to the sheets okay and in sheets this is much more uh, see here uh, it is typically one sheet one kind of a visual um, and you can see uh, you know this classification which has already been done, done and in power bi if you also see you know uh, some of these things are already been identified like in geography dimension we, it has not identified state but you can actually go ahead and data category and you can call it as state so we don't have a state so i'm going to go to city and i'm going to call it as city okay and let's see if we have a state state and provinces is there i missed out okay fine so you can do it. even if it's not recognized you can go ahead and do it and similarly other data types you can see that you know power bi if you click here you can see these things have been identified out here and aggregation you can also see same thing in the tableau also you will be able to see now in case of tableau uh, you see these things have been actually differentiated in two parts so basically aggregate column which can be aggregatable and which are not aggregatable tab you do draw a line in between that so this is you can do a count and these are you know the things and then so we know we need quantity and we know this one so uh, we can simply do it and uh, so i click here and let me see so what i am i don't see these options are enabled so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag category here and category let me simply drag it and put it here somewhere okay so category it has converted into table now and let me also drag quantity and i'm going to drag in between i'm not sure row or column so just dragged it let me drag it again 
okay so i got it correctly and the quantity came here so i should have dropped here and then row and column so basically this is kind of pivot you have row you have column you have values and let me now make this as a this visual or let's say this visual uh, and this is another visual which we have so this is not applicable so we have this visual which is applicable out here so we have created this visual and other so tableau will suggest to you the visual uh, which you can actually is more suitable and then there is a sort ascend and descend so these are the options which we can play around so basically it's right now sorting on the value and quantity has automatically if you see come to the column and uh, we have a few more options out here which we can see similarly on power bi also you have option for sort ascend and descend out here so sort ascending sort descending is there i can go ahead and play around fine so we have loaded the data in power bi in tableau created our first visual in both the tools and we will continue that suggest what you wanted to see in this particular series subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the notification for new video thanks for watching this video thank